So let's check out the collection and head in a little bit closer and see what we've got going on over here. Welcome back to the Retro Games Room. Now we've had a little bit of an update in here primarily because of some new really cool stuff that has actually entered the retro games room and it has to be said Nintendo Nintendo is taking over and even even Bowser's got up on the Sega shelf there now like what is going on but with the release of Mario 3D World I couldn't help but pick up a load of the new gear so let's go and have a look at what I've got so I have to say one of my favourite additions to the games room lately is some of the new plushies. Now I was absolutely loving the Wario plushie and it goes really really well with the amiibo. So I haven't really changed over any of my amiibos, we've still got all the ones here that I had in place before, they look really really nice in amongst the consoles. I really should find somewhere else to put the joysticks because that would give me a little bit more room. Um, but man, like Bowser is properly taking over. He looks really, really nice up there. He's kind of just like, he's sitting on top of his throne, looking down over the kingdom. But, oh man, now these are the new cat plushies. I think are absolutely incredible. I think the cat toad is like one of my favorites. Uh, big, big fan. Uh, but I had to get the Luigi one as well, and he looks so good just like popping his head out there. It goes really well with my Tanuki Mario. Really, really love it. Now I didn't pick up the Peach or the Mario plushie, but we did however, we did get the Amiibos. So let's just uh, zoom in and have a look at these because got a little bit of reflection off the box. I haven't taken them out yet because I actually really, really like the packaging. I think they look really good. They're amazing. I'm almost tempted to get a second set so that I can have one unbox to play with because they do have a few scannable features in the game but really I don't tend to use the amiibos for that purpose too much um, I just kind of like to have them out to get hands on and to hold them or just to make them look cool really there was a time when I had all my amiibos boxed um, you might remember in the old games room they looked really really good boxed um, but I did, I did eventually open them all so like it's now it's only the new uh, Mario and Peach and then actually if I just swing over round to the gaming radiator the only other amiibo that I've still got boxed is my Zelda Guardian now let's just come down here to get a view uh, along with Boo a little boo torch is really really cool uh, but yeah I kept that Guardian box because again I really like the box um, probably needs a dust actually but it's really really awesome um, we did we did open uh, one of them I got two so you might have seen my other one up here by the television he's absolutely awesome um, but yeah I've got two of those so maybe I should do the same for Cat Mario and Cat Peach. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I get another set? It's very, very tempting. So I think the shelves here are looking better than ever. Like, it's, it's taken me a while to build this up because the games room felt a little bit bare when I first put it together because I think originally it was really stacked and really overflowing with stuff. Um, but now, like, I've kind of put it back and it was kind of minimal because I like to keep it minimal and nice to an extent but I think now I've started to fill it out a little bit um, I think this looks great so what do you guys think of the new Mario 3D World gear what's your favorite piece that we've got what did you pick up yourselves I'm pretty hyped with the collection I think it looks really really good in the retro games room now one of the problems I've always got is space and I've got a whole load of other stuff over here, the other side of the camera, which is kind of quickly becoming a horror shelf. But I'll probably show that in another video, but if I keep buying stuff, like I don't know where it's going to go, because like I feel like I need another, another like storage area to be able to like put some of it away and move it around, but I've got a whole load of boxes down here full of other amiibos and stuff. So I can like shake and shake it up and then twist those and mix and mash them around every now and then 
but I might have to say they're, they're some of my favourite figurines that are out there right now. Um, what do you guys think? What, what do you like the best? What else do you think I should add to the games room? Not that I have got much more room to do so, but anyway, let me know down in the comments. If you're new to the channel guys, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in a future episode of the Retro Games Room. Yes, mate. Yes, mate.